Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at Download Festival 2023, and the lads from Blind Channel join me now. Hello, gentlemen, how are we doing? We're doing great. Just lost our download virginity, and it felt good. There we go. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. And what a way to do it, by the way. The biggest ever Download Festival, 20th anniversary. It's an extra special weekend. It's got to be pretty great to be a part of something like this, right? Yeah, it felt like we were making history when we were on the stage and we felt all the middle fingers and all that mosh beats happening. It felt like, yeah, something's going on, definitely. Yeah, 100%. Well, we can see that momentum building and also, like, I mean, so many acts that I know you admire. I mean, we've talked in the past about how much you might have bands like Bring Me the Horizon and all this kind of stuff. To be now playing the same festival stages as them, it's it's got to be a real moment for you guys. Yeah, definitely. It's, it feels like we're starting, like, we're starting to get into the scene, like we're doing tours with I Prevail and yeah. Electric Car boy and exactly playing the same festivals with all our favorite bands so it feels unreal and like we're we're the artfish because we're from Finland but I think like the name blind channel is already going a bit around like we meet people who work like in the crews of these big, bigger bands and they're like yeah you're blind channel we've heard of you and we're Amazing. like what you've that's heard of us great. like what, the, what does that mean that's yeah. so great though man it's gotta be nice as well because now that the album's been out for a little minute it's that thing where you're actually finally getting to put a load of those newer songs into the set maybe some that weren't singles and all that kind of stuff and you actually get to see those reactions yeah. from the people that's got to be really interesting tell me about actually playing some of those newer songs live what are those reactions been like well definitely today we had only like six songs in the set so we had to do all the like hit songs yeah, but, the bangers. but when we play headline for like 70 minutes uh for sure it's great to hear that people are singing along even the songs that are not singles yeah so it's great. Good. no it's good to see all like how those kind of things develop right has anything surprised you about playing those new songs live anything taking you by surprise like oh i didn't think they'd go off of that bit oh i didn't think that one would be the the I danceable one autopsy is pretty much like fan favorite it's happening to be it sounds like nine inch nails so oh there we go yeah. yeah that's always good that's always good well let's talk about some of those newer singles yeah flatline first of all i mean tell me a little bit about where that one kind of came from when did you kind of start writing more kind of new material like that uh flatline was one of the first songs we wrote for the next upcoming album like flatline uh we wanted to experiment our sound like to surprise people surprise ourselves do something new we had these two dudes from uh, berlin and they're they're a songwriter duo called blind and they're like they specialize in electronic music they have been working with david Guetta and robin schultz and stuff like that and we loved that combo like let's try to do a blind chill song with these guys yeah. and i think that's how flatline like came to be have it came together in two days only wow. and then it had this very electronic music vibe and we felt it was fresh and it's it's one of their favorite live songs as well yeah well happy doomsday too i gotta say i mean that that's gonna go down well live i mean my god that's a big big banger from you guys that's a really really solid tune man tell me a little bit about when that one came together as well it was basically we we wrote it together in a rehearsal room we, we wanted to have like a pure new metal track and yeah we heard that Octane, the USA Rock Radio liked it. So we were like, let's put it on a single. Just, just let's see what happens to warm up it a bit. So, but uh, yeah, it's, it's class, classic new metal. Like, yeah. Just think about Meteora, Hybrid Theory, or Limp Bizkit, or Corn Classics. It's like that. We wanted to go into the new metal world. Yeah. And it's nice to be experimenting like that. If that line is maybe more European kind of song yeah. with influences in Berlin and stuff like that, then for Happy Doomsday, we definitely took influences from like American rock music. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nice. New metal's kind of having a bit of a moment again as well, so it's nice hell, to yeah. see some songs inspired by Finally. those bands. Finally, right? <laughs> we <laughs> never left it behind. Now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? Finally came back. Oh, you mentioned, obviously, working towards a new album then. So what kind of stage are we actually at in terms of that? Uh, we're going to record it for the whole summer. So every oh, every time when we're not on tour, playing festivals, we go back to Helsinki in the studio in the basement, and we try to record it until... I think August or September. Okay. Yeah, at the end of the summer, we're gonna have our next album in our hands. Oh, then we're gonna amazing. send it to Chuck Cerveny and Dan Lancaster, and they're gonna finish that up to be a oh, diamond. Great. So great working with Dad as well, right? Yeah. That's so, so cool. That's such a great working relationship for you guys, for sure. Hey, I wanted to mention, of course, I mean, we just had a Eurovision Song Contest in the UK, got to go, which I was very excited by, and I chatted to a lot of the rock acts there, and I, you know, I know we've talked about this a little bit before, but I just love the fact that it feels like that year when you guys took part, it kind of kick the doors down a little bit in terms yeah. of rock acts getting to be in there it's got to be really nice to see how much that keeps growing right it wasn't yeah. just a one-off 
more and more rock bands seem to really see what that is. Like you can have a real opportunity there, right? Yes, we've, yeah, we've noticed we've noticed the same thing happening. Yeah. That more and more rock bands are. We don't we don't follow the competition too much anymore, like we didn't before. But like we just heard where we hear people talking. Like there's uh, many more rock bands, and that's awesome, right? Yeah. And it's super important to have the plan after the competition because the competition is over like this and then you need to know what you're going to do. Our plan was to go full into this scene and yeah. right now, like Nico said, we feel that finally we are accepted to the yeah. scene, which yeah. feels fucking great. That's great, man. No, it's great to see how this has been building and all the momentum. I'm going to let you go, but before I do, question we've been asking absolutely everybody this weekend. So, like I said, biggest ever download, massive, massive lineup. If you could get to work with any other band that is here at Download this weekend, who's the dream? Who's the who's top of that list in terms of the collaboration? I have to say Jordan Fries and Oliver Sykes. There it is. Yeah, there it is. That, but, but, slip, I had to go but hey, Slipknot will be awesome as well. That's true. I was battling in my mind. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, me, me too. Like, what's the right answer? <laughs> I mean, the fun thing is, people keep saying "Bring me," and the and the great thing is that their collaborations are so varied. I just love that they work with such a wide variety of different artists and make it work, right? They're breaking boundaries, and that's exa exactly what we're doing or trying to do as well. Also, so. I met Oli back in Northwest Finland, and he was okay. super humble dude, and I had nice. like super good feeling about him. So yeah, they're super nice guys. That's really nice to him. That's really nice to hear. Hey, go enjoy the rest of your weekend. We will catch up again soon. I'm sure. Right? Good to see you guys. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Blind channel, everybody.